My name is Gretchen Rubin, and this is The Happiness Project, the pigeon of discontent for this week. I put off phone calls. This simple task that would probably take two minutes to finish becomes a burden. I don't do it and have to remind myself for weeks that it needs doing. This drains my mental energy, and I feel bad because of it. Well, I know very well this pigeon of discontent. I hate making phone calls myself. And in fact, just yesterday, after postponing it for about nine or 10 months, I finally called the doctor to make a checkup appointment, which I have not had in years. And the funny thing is, is I'm not even really dreading going to the doctor. I was really, really just dreading making the phone call. But finally, I said to myself, I, need to, I know the rules that I need to use to make a good phone call and to get myself to do it, and I just need to apply those tips to myself and get it done. And I did, because just picking up the phone can feel enormously difficult. So these are the things that I did to, to, to make my phone call. The night before, get all the information that you need. The, the number that you're going to call, any information that you need to make sure that you convey or that you get so you know exactly what needs to happen. So you have that the night before. Then the next morning when you come in, you go straight to the phone, pick it up, and dial right away. No procrastination. It's going to be the first thing you do because once you start delaying, it starts going further and further back. Or if you can't call until 11, the minute it is 11 o'clock, you make that phone call. If you need to make a series of phone calls, here's a good tip. Don't actually hang up the phone and sort of putter around. Just hang up, keep the phone in your hand, and start dialing again, and just keep them going. You're on a roll, just keep going. If you need to leave a message, be sure to say your name and your phone number a couple of times very clearly. If you can, it helps to leave an email contact in case people want to contact you by email. But don't get into idle chit chat. It's so maddening when people just start chatting away on voicemail. So keep it to the point so that it's easier for people to get your message and to return your call. So the re resolution for this pigeon of discontent is to plan and prepare for that dreaded phone call.